This is the Southern Ag Credit Fit for Ag Jingle Bell Jog 5K, 10K, and Half Marathon. It's the fifth year for the Jingle Bell Jog, and we have joined in with um, Southern Ag Credit this year. They are our sole sponsor, and they um, they have had Fit for Ag, I think, for two or three years, and so we joined in with them together this year to have one big event. We have over a 1,000 um, participants registered for the race this year. Our mission is to promote uh, a rural way of lifestyle. We finance rural property. We uh, Our mission is agriculture, and part of that is uh, you know bringing the good, healthy living lifestyle to as many people as possible. It's a natural fit. For us. The Children's Cancer Center at Batson is the state's only uh, childhood cancer treatment center. We are a member of Children's Oncology Group, which is the largest uh, research organization for children's cancer in the world. Uh, we have state-of-the-art research, we participate in clinical trials, uh, we have state-of-the-art equipment, and our survival rates match any other center in the country. When you tell people where you work, what do you say? I usually say I work at um, the Batson Children's Hospital uh, Children's Cancer Center, and that's usually followed by all. <laughs> Do you love what you do? How do you do what you do? And yes, I do love what I do. Working with children every day, it is absolutely the most awesome thing. These kids are so resilient and they, you know, walk around with their bag of chemo hanging and they run around, chase us, play football with us in the hall. Um, the kids are just, they're awesome. They tolerate things way better than adults do. Who's behind you? This is a, this is a photo bomb. <laughs> How are you? Okay. How's he doing? He's doing great. He's, he's in remission. Uh, he has CML. He's myelogenous so again. Something that he'll have from now on. He'll receive treatments from now on until you know there is a bone marrow transplant or, or so like that. It's treatable. It's just it is. It's he takes an oral uh, chemotherapy medication every day. What are the nurses like? What's the staff like there? Oh, they're really nice. Um, I like hanging around with them. And they're just really fun. I feel like. I just want it around there. Uh, my friend Ben Sigler has chronic leukemia, and I'm here to support him. I ran the 5K. He's a very nice kid. He's a good friend. He's supportive, and he's fun to talk to. I just love the kids. Um, you know, they always say that we help them, but I think that they help me more than they know. Um, I just love working with them, and they just always bring a smile to my face. You hear them. I think a lot of the people come out here just to support us, to, you know, come out, run a race, get a little exercise, but I think the main thing for most people is to come out and support the Children's Cancer Center. Asher is her son. He was my, my first grandson, first grandchild, so the uh, Children's Hospital is pretty dear to our heart, you know, they're folks that don't have healthy children, and um, this means a lot to them, I can assure you. Yeah. My daughter, Morgan Parker Jones. Uh, was diagnosed with a brain tumor when she was eight and uh, she fought her way through it till April 14th of 2014 when she passed away. The good news with childhood cancer is about 80, overall our survival rates are about 80 to 85 percent for all cancers, but there are still a few areas that we desperately need to improve and brain tumors, brain cancer is the leading cause of death in children from cancer and his child uh, unfortunately had one of those tumors uh, but he's determined that um, all survival rates get better so he supports everything that we do. I mean you're still out here today supporting Oh yeah, the support Batson as much as I can. Uh, me and my family, uh, friends, uh, yeah I support them very much. We're training for a half marathon that we're running at Disney World in January for the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. I'm a Hodgkin's lymphoma survivor and so my family uh, and, and I have been training uh, for that come next month. So we needed something to prepare us and this was this a great cause to race. do it. <laughs> and it was our first race. So it was a great race to do as a couple and it was half of the half marathon so we thought it would be a good way to kind of start training a little bit. Yeah. Once you go through it as a as an adult, even though I'm you know I'm only in my twenties, uh, you know, imagine going through that as a, a, a six or seven year old or even younger is it's it's worth the cause to come out and give support because uh, family support and religious support and, uh, and organizational support is uh, really what gets you through. It. So and, and kids need that too. It's too bad in the world.